So I'm gonna do something kind of interesting. This will look better, obviously, once we get the light in there. But uh, right now I'm gonna make the mouth. So right now we, we do the smiley face, right? We're just gonna carve it like this. However, in this case, I'm gonna make this side a little bit bigger. And that's because it's gonna be eating this little dude. So I've seen that on Pinterest, looks cool. I'm gonna do that. So let's uh, think of where it's from. So it could be humongous, so I will make it humongous, actually. And we want the teeth to be like, a little bit small here. But I still want these teeth to be really close to the other ones. It's possible. Hopefully by the end of this video, you guys will see that. You don't need to dedicate too much time in order to carve out a pumpkin. That way you do it every year. Not that you don't need to dedicate like an hour or so to it. It'll be fine. So we're pretty much done. At this point you have to push it from in out. If we do it the other way, it will not work. There we go. We have our traditional looking pumpkin. At this point we can take out some more stuff from it. But uh, this is how it's supposed to look like. I left this spot a little bit bigger for my little pumpkin to go inside of it. So as you can see, my little pumpkin should be right in there, just like that. And that's okay. Um, I'm also gonna carve out my little pumpkin. But this one's pretty much done. I just need to clean it up. But that's it. That's how long it took me to carve that out. This one's a little bit more special. We could actually even draw on it. We don't have to carve things out, but it'll be very fun actually to carve it up. So I'm also gonna do that in this video. Why not? And see what happens. Um, so little pumpkins are actually harder to carve out than bigger ones, just because you have to plan it out a little bit different. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did in my bigger one, but you guys will see the difference of what happens when I actually get down to it. So you can see you guys will not have that much space at all. Um, not even sure if you guys want to keep these seeds. Might want to, might not. Smaller pumpkins are different. That's enough. Just gonna some it's out of there. We're good. All right. So I always take longer renting these things out than carving, like I said. So here's the top. By the way, you guys will need to put this on top once you put your candle in there. There's enough. Um, air coming to it so it will light up perfectly if you're doing a candle um, nowadays people are using LEDs which it's alright if you get it cheap I think it's alright so I'm gonna make a little guy a little guy is actually harder
and that's it. I'm gonna fix the face a little bit, but it's the big pumpkin eating the little pumpkin. And that's it for this tutorial. It's a quick one. Just gonna fix that a little bit, but the tutorial was mainly for your traditional big, big pumpkin. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.